Hello Zebrahood and welcome to something very, very different, at least for me. You might not know this, but Plants vs. Zombies has its own official comic book and it's been going on for a couple of years now. There is a Plants vs. Zombies comic book series by Dark Horse Comics and the very first issue of the very first series is actually free to read on their website. As long as you make a free account with Dark Horse Comics, you can go ahead and read the first issue totally for free and I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. But since it's free, and anybody can read it, I figured it'd be really cool if we could do sort of a read-along in this video. So you can go ahead, make an account, open up the first issue, and read it along with me as I read it here in this video. Now, I will not be doing this with any of the other issues because they are paid, and obviously I don't want to post a free video for you to watch me reading a paid comic. That wouldn't be very fair. I'm hoping that this will let more people know that this comic exists, because I know a lot of PBZ fans who have no idea that these comics are even a thing. So if you do like this first issue, definitely go check out their website and see if you want to buy more of the comics. You can buy the comics digitally and read them in your web browser, or you can buy physical versions of them. So this is very different for me, and if you enjoy it, maybe we'll do more things like this in the future, but like I said, I won't be reading any more of these issues because they cost money, and I don't wanna do that for free on YouTube. You know, you get it. But either way, this is the first issue of the Dark Horse Comics PVZ comic, which is the first issue of the Lawn Mageddon series. And instantly, things are a bit different. You might know in at least a Western released PVZ games, the only human you ever see is Crazy Dave. I don't think there's any other human in that canon, I guess you could say. But right off the bat, you can see there's two kids here. One of them swinging around a cherry bomb. I don't know how the cherry bomb feels about that, but cherry bomb's always angry. Then there's another kid throwing like something at an all-star. There's a lot of action happening here, and I love it because there's so many different zombies. I see a balloon zombie. Uh, I see a gargantuar, disco zombie, tons of awesome stuff. It's all from the game except for the two kids. So, Lawn Mageddon, issue one of six. Let's check it out. And they give you, like, I guess a second cover here. And then, <laughs> I like this zombie. He's like, do you know where the local taco place is? I could go for some tacos. And I see just a whole bunch of plants that you would recognize. Okay. So here we go. Saturday morning in the bright and beautiful city of Neighborville. Na Neighborville, we're below the bright and beautiful parts. See anything, Louis? Nope, not a thing. For all the reports we've been getting about strange noises in the, these sewers, there's nothing down here at all. Oh, so he's in a sewer, and it's another human, so I guess maybe this predates even the PVZ games. That'd be really cool. Brains, so there's a zombie coming through. Oh, no, it's a mining zombie. Whoa, he ran right by him. Brains, 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 oh no, no, no. Wow, they're not actually attacking him. You'd think the first thing they would do was eat his brains, but they totally forgot. There's tons of zombies here. I see the all-star, I see the mining zombie, the imp. That is cool, disco zombies in the background like, hey, don't forget about me. That is so cool. Interesting, so these are the sewers. I wonder if they're the same sewers we'll find in, you know, we find in Garden Warfare 2. Ah, brains, so that's happening right under the street. Oh, and there's like a homeless guy and he's like, what, what's happening? So this is like, this is as the zombie outbreak is happening. A dollar? Oh, he's asking for a dollar. Brains. That sounds like a fair trade, a brain for a dollar. So the zombie outbreak is happening right here. <laughs> That's adorable, I love it. So the zombie outbreak is here. Everybody's getting attacked. Somebody's got, some guy's calling a taxi. Oh yeah, brains, I think uh, that's on the third, man. You take a left on, oh, he's giving him some, uh, I guess directions, there's like a lot of stuff here. The zombies are attacking except for the animals. There's just a bunch of dogs in the bottom of just chilling out. <laughs> I love that. Several blocks away, I'm home. Gonna be in my tree fort. Russell, Russell, shake. Huh? Oh, look at the plants. I, I don't know if they're actual plants versus zombies plants or if they're just normal sunflowers and pea plants because they don't have eyes. Nothing? Huh. Oh yeah, he's looking through the bushes at the plants and he goes, they're just normal plants. Thump. Thump? Somebody in my tree house? Ha! Huh. huh. Nothing. Okay, oh, he hears a shuffle in the extra special secret lair. Nate Time, Nate Timely Only. Oh, is his name Nate Timely? That's an interesting name. Huh? Someone in my secret lair? What could it be? Click. Yikes! Hello? Oh, yeah! Oh, she's got the moves. So who's this? Oh, sorry, 
No, my bad. I'm sorry, and my stomach is really sorry. But why'd you attack me? Oh, I thought you were one of these. You thought I was an alien ninja enemies. Uh, pirate mummy, alien ninja, laser caveman. That one's a bit of a, a interesting kind of one. Sasquatch ballerina. Yeah, one of those. I, I wouldn't want to go against the Sasquatch ballerina. No, yes, I mean, things seem weird in Neighborville today. I'm Nate Timely, by the way, aspiring cowboy astronaut. Pa Pat Patrice, oh, Patrice Blazing, professional treehouse investigator. And what do you mean by weird? Oh, just, there's a special smell or a peculiar smell, a tension in the air. It, it, I feel like something's happening. Some evil is out there. Some menace is stalking the streets. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at the, the pea shooters got eyes. Oh, look at them. They might be repeaters. They look a little angry, I like the repeaters. It's lurking in the shadows. Oh, is it eating the plant food? Oh boy, you messed up, you ate the plant food. Look at the three Peters, they ain't happy about that. Oh, bleh, they don't like it, spreading a wave of sinister foreboding. He does not like plant food. Maybe because he's not a plant. Spreading a spreading a sinister wave, or a wave of sinister foreboding, you say? Wow, you're really bringing the drama there, Nate. Uh, I've been practicing, can't be a cowboy astronaut all my life. I'm gonna be a writer, seriously though. There does seem to be some sort of weirdness going, brains, stomp. Oh, they immediately stomp him. No, they got some of his fingers. Ooh, that's awful. Okay, well, they got him. Was that a zombie? Couldn't be. No way, didn't happen. I disbelieve brains. They, all, they only want brains. It's the only thing they have on their mind because they lack a brain. Uh-oh. Nate, you, you better come look at this. Why, what's... Uh-oh, more zombies. It's the same group, too. Oh, look at this one. This one's discovering his first bucket. He's like, oh, and that's, they're like making a pyramid of screen doors back there. They have a lot of fun for being such a rambunctious group of zombies. Okay, so things are turning out interesting so far. I, I no longer disbelieve. W what I believe is that we should get out of here. We could end up trapped. We'll have to swing into the next yard like Tarzan. I do it all the time, but I'm not sure you'll be able to do it because give me that. We <laughs> Okay, um, good job, but I can do it better. Look at these two having a little rivalry already. We Oh no, he hit the balloon guy. Out of all the, the, the things to run into in the air, he runs into the balloon zombie. Oh, that must have hurt. He, he might have to go to infirmary. Ta-da! Nice technique, Nate. Oh, she has a bike too, that's cool. Thanks, one of my best tries, really. But let's get on our bikes and brains. Uh-oh, why are there so many zombies? I mean, get a, I get a pimple and I don't like to go outside, but look at those guys. I mean, oh, I, I guess because they're sort of really pimply and gross because they're dead. Okay, well, there's more zombies. Ah, I always knew it would end this way. Brains, they're, they're cornering them. Yeah, because if you see up here, they're, they're cornered by the hedge. Really? Oh no. Ooh! Pop, 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 pop. Well, but what's happening? It's the pea shooters, of course. Come on, but did you just see? We have to reach my uncle's house. He'll know what to do. No way. Is, is Crazy Dave really her uncle? He will? Sure, he's really smart. A top-notch scientist. He's utterly brilliant, a genius. Um, what does that say? Beware of plants. Oh my gosh, he is. It's here, this is where my uncle lives. Huh, where? But this is, this is Crazy Dave's house. Oh my gosh, he has a little niece, which means he has a, a sister or a brother or something. His car is here, that means, uh-oh, here they are. Ah, all the brains eating zombies. Ah, brains to be continued. And there we have it, there's the first little uh, chapter. That was so cool. Now, I know they're a little bit on the short side, at least this first one is, and it looks like be the first to download the next thrilling zombie-filled episode from Paul Tobin, Ron Chan, Matthew J. Rainwater, and crew. 
Very cool, that hooked the scream and not the pea shooter. That is awesome, chapter two is available now. A whole bunch is available now. I'm not just talking Non-Mageddon, but I think they have like two or three more complete series that you can read, either digitally, I think you can buy them physically, I've definitely seen them in like Barnes & Noble, but that was so much fun. Now, I don't know if this is like the official story, like if technically this story is the same story as in the video games, but clearly this is intended to take place before the original Plants vs. Zombies 1, where obviously the, the, the outbreak had clearly happened, you know? Because this is like right as it happens, it seems. So that is very, very cool, very, very interesting, and I loved it a bunch. Personally, I'll try to make time to read them myself, the rest of them, because it just sounds like so much fun. And I suggest you do too, if you enjoyed this little read along and you want to see more of them, check the link below and see if you'd want to see more of it. Go ahead and support it, because I would love to see more PVZ stuff like this, and the best way to do that is to support it. So go check it out, let me know what you thought about this video, would you like to see more stuff like this, maybe with different things we could do read-alongs with. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun, but that might be up to you guys for now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video on the Plants vs. Zombies comic. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Zombie so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. And check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.